I'm going out fishing with Kyle from Floating Fish, and he's got a bass boat. So we're gonna go out and hit some uh, smallmouth bass. He said they've been doing pretty good. So I had about an hour drive to meet up with Kyle, and he wanted me there at about 7 a.m. It was an early start. We're on our way. We just put the boat in the water. And so I'm meeting him over there. I'm going to hold the boat while he goes and parks the car. Hopefully we catch some bass today. All right, Kyle and me are off. About ready to go catch some fish. What do you think? All right. Be really cool to catch some pike, but today we're mainly after smallmouth, but really anything that'll pull the line. So whatever it's biting, we're gonna go out for. But we think smallmouth, right? Yeah. Yeah. You all playing? Good to go. I can get because I've only got that two feet per second. Yeah, I'm letting mine sink a little bit. When we finally started to fish, it took us a while to figure out exactly what the fish were doing. Also, it was a little early. Oh, for us a few weeks ago, we ought to find some today. I might need to throw on a uh, bullet weight or something. Yeah, like a little split. Yeah. Uh, I got more versatile too. I think. Well, I got one too, if I need. I just figured I better get a backup one. Nice fish. There we go. Finally, Kyle gets the first fish of the day. And it was a decent sized smallmouth. There we go. And shortly after, I hook up as well. Although mine was much smaller. There's still some up. Look at that. Oh no. Got it, if you want me to try and go over there. I mean, they're not like expensive. I can go over there, man. Here, let me get, this, get my cast in real quick. Sorry, dude. No, no worries. Uh, I missed by an inch. I was trying to go on the right side of it and kind of swung around. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I know how that goes. I tied up, actually, one of these I tied up last night. I, I tied it with a bigger, bigger set of eyes. Yeah, I'm noticing that only. The only time I'm getting a chase is when I'm letting it sink for a good good while. A little while, yeah. So after losing my fly, I decided to throw on my new Craftwind streamer. I also put a large split shot on to get a little deeper. And it worked. A decent sized smallmouth. Now we're really starting to get them. Oh, nice. My wife, I let her catch a bunch of big ones. She's just, she's never fly fished before. Yeah. Uh, so she's just getting into it. And, uh, oh, ooh. no, bottom. Got one? Yeah. He's not very big. Oh. How do oh, I get my Oh, he comes off at the boat. 
Really excited for one day. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I can't. I'm having trouble. All right. Is that a good one? Yeah. But <laughs> I couldn't. I wasn't ready for it. I still got them on somehow. Oh, yeah. I think there's a decent one. Up at the net. Maybe not. Oh, yeah. He ain't got Oh, yeah. Look at him. Yeah! Nice one. Not bad. Not bad. We'll go catch even bigger. Yeah, I mean, he's, he ain't no monster, but... No, that's a nice fish. That was a nice smallmouth. Good. good little... Well, we're having a good time. We've gotten quite a few. Not, not a whole lot, though but uh, we should be getting them a little later. The sun is starting to try to peek out, so hopefully, hopefully it picks up a little faster. But I think we've net, uh, we've boated like six fish already, seven. Like so that's that. not bad. Not the whole carp fishing gain in popularity really, but I didn't know that they chase a flock. Like I, yeah, I, they do. And they're tough, they're like fishing bonefish. Yeah. Dude. They're not easy. It was starting to get kind of hot. So I took off my jacket and put on my neck gaiter. No sense in getting burnt. Right, I'm fish it out. The line was really slick with my gloves, and I kept having trouble holding on to it. <laughs> That's what I did on that first one. Oh, there he is. Swimming. Oh, I just thought I had a bite too. Almost had a double. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Trying to get a double. <laughs> I'll keep him in the water. Get him. Uh, I might be out a little too far now. Dang it. I have my shot. Oh, there's the battery. Bad. Yeah. All right, I'll get it. Uh, I think. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Nice. Let's definitely get him on camera. Cool. He's a good one. Thank you for the net job. Yeah. Oh. I'm destroying my bag. Fish. Yeah. Right there. Sweet. Good one? Uh, I don't think he's super good, but... Got the net? No. He's not real small. Not bad fish. Kind of small. Literally on the next cast, Kyle hooked into one. Oh, that's nice. Cool. That thing hit high, too. Yeah. Looks like a good one. Yeah, it is. Do you need a net? Uh, oh, he's not as big as I thought. I can probably get him. Let me know if you need it. 
He looked bigger when he came up. He looks good though. Nope. That's a good fish. Yeah. Here, you want me to just grab the net? I got him. You sure? Yeah. It's yes. tough with those bigger ones on fly rod. It can be. Yeah. Uh, he's not that big at all. They choke this thing. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tie up some of those flies later. These ones. And then I did as well. They're a good one. Ooh. That's three fish within about two minutes. There we go. I think this little... Oh, here's a pike right here. A pike? Yeah. Get him. Not a bad one either. Not bad, dude. Good little bass. Not bad. Uh-uh. Go catch him. Yo, mama! We decided to try another part of the lake, now that the weather had gotten really nice. Kyle thought changing spots would allow us to find larger fish. I guess it worked because that was a nice smallmouth. Well, as the day winded down, we decided that making that move might not have been the best choice, as the first spot fished a little better. However, we still got a few decent fish there. And overall, we did really great. Man guys, that, that was a blast. That was a load of fun. It just seemed like it was non-stop catching those smallmouth bass. I was able to use a lot of the flies that, um, I haven't used in a while. Uh, haven't been able to bass fish in a long time, so that was a that was a great experience. Plus, it was a load of fun fishing with just a a fun guy. He he was fun fun to hang out with and made it made it a really cool experience. He works at Floating Fish. His name is Kyle. If you guys ever do come down this way and and fish in this area, make sure and stop by Floating Fish and. Say hi to Kyle. He'll give you all the info you need for any kind of fishing. Well, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this sort of thing, hit that subscribe button. And if you guys are my subscribers, please do me a favor and, and share my videos with all your friends. That really helps. Well, I'm going to get back to driving here. You guys have a great day. Go catch some fish and peace out.